Hey neighbors, it's Ryan Delk again with another lawn video. This time we're gonna show you how to aerate yourself so you don't have to pay anybody else to do the aeration for you. Go ahead and take a second, pause the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and turn on notifications. That way I can make more videos like this. So today we're going to do some aerating. Um, it's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. The secret is don't try to force the aerator around. Let the aerator kind of guide you. So let's see what happens. This professional grade aerator costs about $69 to rent from Home Depot for four hours. And that was enough for me and my neighbor to do our yards. So we split the cost. So that was a great win. So aeration is good for a multitude of reasons. One is to break up compacted soil. Another is to get nutrients deeper into the lawn and let water get deeper into the lawn. There's just a lot of great reasons to do it about once a year. You might see a couple flags sticking up out of my yard, and that's just to mark my sprinkler system so that I don't hit the sprinkler heads. So I'm kind of leaning back a little bit on it so I can dig down a little deeper and get deeper cores. When you see me kick the side of that thing, that's just to get the leaper to drop in. There's a little something wrong with the Home Depot rental, but it wasn't a big deal. Just have to kick it every time to get it started. A 
Again, let the aerator do the work. You're just walking behind it and guiding it. All right, so I'm not running it in full speed. I'm slowing it back a little bit. It makes it easier to control. So just slow it back just a little bit so you can control it well. All right, so this thing did a great job. Pulled up a lot of cores, as you can see. Take a look. It's pretty awesome. So look, don't doubt yourself. You can do it too. Rent you an aerator, put in the work. It's a little bit of hard work, but you'll get used to it and it'd be very rewarding, I promise.
All right, so that's hard work. I don't care what anybody says. Even, even my neighbor who wants to try to act like it's real easy. So here's the cords we pulled up. I would have really wanted a little bit deeper cords, but it's still good. There's plenty of them. You can see these tines right here is what uh, pokes into the ground and pulls the core up. That's why it's called core aeration. And that's what you want to do. Pull these cores up, puts oxygen into the soil. You see how deep these holes are? Oxygen, nutrients, all that stuff into the soil. And the grass will grow back very quickly and you won't even see them there. A lot of people will leave these in the yard, let nutrients get back to the ground and the soil and the grass. Me, myself, I can't wait that long to mow. So what I'm gonna do is rake them up or blow them and clean them up. So I'll show you a video of that. Hold on one second, I'll show you, come on. Now blowing these things and getting them all cleaned up off the yard, that was a painstaking effort. It took a lot of time. Eventually on the backyard, I borrowed my neighbor's lawnmower and sucked them all up and created a huge dust storm over the entire neighborhood. So it's looking pretty good, got it swept up. Got some pretty deep holes. It goes up to the middle knuckle of my finger, so not too bad. Probably do another pass with the blower, just clean it all off, and then we'll do some fertilizing. All right. All right, so sometimes you gotta get a little dirty. Let's try that again. Sometimes you gotta get a little dirty to get this stuff up. A lot of work, All right, hopefully to pay off. All right. All right, so once you're done with all that and you got it aerated, whether or not you pick up your cores is up to you. But once you're done, you should go ahead and fertilize, especially if you hadn't fertilized in a while, because this is a rare opportunity to get nutrients deep into your soil. You don't really get an opportunity like that too often. So one of my favorite fertilizers is this uh, Vigoro 
lawn fertilizer, greens in 72 hours, has iron in it, it won't burn your yard. Um, it's a 2904. I would still water it in for sure. I would definitely water it in, but it's one of my favorite fertilizers and you'll see a green up in probably around three days, honestly. That's 72 hours, ain't no joke. Also like this PGF Complete, you can get it from Amazon. It's an awesome fertilizer as well. But whatever you do, go ahead and fertilize after you aerate. It's gonna be a great opportunity to fertilize and water, get that water deep in there. Not too shabby.